Hi, Dermot. Oh, hi, Tom. How are you doing? <laughs> How are Good you, to hi. see you down at the space. Yeah. Um, do you want to tell us a bit about what you've been up to today? Yeah, we've been carrying on with the lining, which is, you know, as we said, we ploughed through the second half recently. We're getting onto the home stretch. A couple of issues, but we seem to have dealt with it. The next stage is going to be our suspended timber floor. So me and Tom spent a bit of time rigging up bits of wood that represent the timbers we're going to use in the floor and the mortar joints and working out exactly how we're going to build the honeycomb walls across the wall. They're all marked out, ready to go. We have a team in here on Saturday. We're going to be laying blocks down um, in three different honeycomb walls across the space and then it's going to be ready for the timber structure to go on that. That will be insulated. We'll have OSB, tongue and groove, boards go on top of that, and we'll have a floor. Great, and what, what's going on behind us? Well, um, Jan is looking like he doesn't want to be on camera, but here he is. <laughs> Do you want to tell us what we've been doing here, Jan? <laughs> friendly sort. A friendly sort, though. Oh, well, we, we could talk about the kind of the issue we've had bending panels round. We're taking these panels, we reckon, to the, the kind of limit of the, what they will bend. Fitting a square peg in a round hole. Yeah, I mean, if they were flat sheets, they'd bend an incredible amount because they're corrugated, we're pitted against them. When they get to this part of the arch, which is a parabola, so it's kind of a the steepest part of the curve is around here, we're finding that they splay out. So it takes a good group of people to keep them in check. But it's under control. And it looks pretty good, the rest of the space, right? It looks fantastic, yeah. This is our team this evening. Do you want to wave? <laughs>